2007. Shaggy and Tino. Last call for Anthony Salvaraj and family. Please go the aircraft. My dad, Anthony, was carrying our suitcases while my mom, Maria, was carrying my younger sister, Maria. Me and my younger sister, Sylvia, were right behind her. We were moving to Bangalore and we were extremely late. Suddenly, I hear a scream. Mom! And my sister falls down. Turns out, the heel of the shoe she was wearing was broken. We decided to take a quick detour and stop at a store. My dad was trying to pay as quick as possible. Suddenly, my mom picks up a handbag and says, Hmm, this is nice. I think I should get this. And then, I took a comic book. And it continues. My dad probably ignored me Our names were echoing throughout the air. Good evening, those masters and guests. Good evening. I hope this incident sheds some light into my lovely family. My dad is a senior program manager at Philips. My mom is a retired teacher. My younger sister Sylvia is a fashion designer. And my younger sister Miriam is pursuing Selective Finance at STC. I was born in Chennai, but I never really lived there. I spent a part of my childhood in Singapore and the rest of it here in Bangalore. I began my schooling at Florence Public School. I was a shy kid. I had gone from learning Mandarin and Tamil to Hindi and Tamil. For a while, I thought they were the same languages. <laughs> I struggled with languages throughout my school. Seventh grade was special. I had my first leadership role. I was a sports player. I really loved cricket and football. And it was during this year where I developed a fascination towards automobile and aircraft. And a dream emerged to pursue mechanical engineering. Fast forward 2016, 10th grade results are up. I had scored a measly score of 57 in math. I was devastated. And to my very much surprise, a 75 in Kannada. <laughs> I can never forget my Kannada exam. On the day of the exam, the atmosphere was like a calm cold storm. I got my question paper, said a silent prayer, and flipped it. Immediately, I knew there was something wrong with the question paper. There were more than 200 mistakes in the question paper. <laughs> Luck had favored me there. I joined St. Joseph's for my MC. I went from a shy kid to a teenager who would not stop talking. It is this place where I could experienced a lot of opportunity to come out of my comfort zone. I participated in months and businesses. I became the vice president and president of the book club. I even took up an entirely new language, French, which I worked very hard to study. But I knew I had to work hard <coughs> if I wanted to pursue my dream of mechanical engineering. And it paid off. I scored an 84 in math in my first year. This gave me the courage and confidence to pursue a mechanical engineer. My journey in Ramaya was remarkable and an enriching experience. During the lockdown, I went all out in my hobbies, such as watching TV shows, movies, anime, gaming, and reading a lot of books. I even learned German. Every semester, my subjects got long high. I used to struggle a lot because mechanical engineering was math. But I worked twice as hard and at the end of 2023, I had successfully completed my engineering. After engineering, I did an internship as a system analyst at Venture. And right now, I am pursuing
Thank you.